Question 176 students, when percentage saturation of hemoglobin with O2 is plotted against the partial pressure of O2 on a graph, the curve obtained is described as parabola, hyperbola, sigmoid or linear. When the graph is plotted given the conditions mentioned above, an S-shaped curve is obtained and this S-shaped curve is also known as sigmoid curve. This sigmoid curve, students, is also known as oxygen dissociation curve. And this is very helpful in and the sigmoid curve is very helpful in studying the effects of factors like partial pressure of CO2 or H plus concentration on the binding of O2 with hemoglobin. The right answer here would be option number 3, sigmoid. Question number 177. Factor which is not favorable for the dissociation of HbO2 in the body tissues is low partial pressure of oxygen, high temperature, low partial pressure of CO2, high H plus ion concentration. Shifting of the O2 dissociation curve students towards the right side indicates that there is dissociation of oxygen from Hp and this dissociation occurs at the tissue level. This dissociation of oxygen from hemoglobin is favored by the following factors and this causes a right shift of the O2 dissociation curve. Let's look at the factors which cause a right shift. Low partial pressure of O2, high partial pressure of CO2, high H plus concentration, lowered pH and high temperature these all would cause the right shift. The odd man out here would be option number three low partial pressure of CO2 needs to be high partial pressure of CO2 here the correct answer here would be option number three. Question number 178 a chemosensitive area situated adjacent to the rhythm center is highly sensitive to CO2 and H plus ions, O2 and H plus ions, CO2 and OH minus ions, O2 and OH minus ions. Contains chemoreceptors which are very sensitive for CO2 and H plus ion students. And this chemosensitive area gets activated due to an increase in CO2 or H plus ions. When this happens, it activates the respiratory rhythm center. And because of this activation, the rate of respiration is altered, which when, for example, when there is increased CO2 amount in blood, the rate and depth of respiration would increase to move that CO2 out. And when there is decreased CO2 in blood, and when there is decreased CO2 in the blood, the rate and depth of respiration would be depressed. Alters the rate of respiration. The correct answer here is option number 1 CO2 and H plus ions. Question number 179 Respiratory Rhythm Center and Pneumotaxic Center are respectively located in. Alright let's go over them one by one. The Respiratory Rhythm Center is located in the medulla of the hindbrain. and it can either cause expiration or inspiration depending on the stimulation of neurons which are activated and thereby it regulates the respiratory rhythm according to the need of the body whereas pneumotaxic center is located in the pons region of the hindbrain and it moderates the function of this respiratory rhythm center and neural signals from this center can also decrease the duration of inspiration and thereby alter the respiratory rate. The correct answer here would be the correct answer here would be option number two medulla oblongata and pons. Question 180 students read the following statements and choose the correct option. Statement A reads in emphysema the surface area of gaseous exchange is reduced Statement B, due to excessive smoking, the walls of alveoli are damaged. 
and combination of correct and incorrect given in emphysema which is majorly caused due to smoking the other causes include smoke toxic substance inhalation over a period of time in emphysema the walls of alveoli are damaged and there is loss of elasticity of walls of bronchioles and alveoli therefore the surface area for the gaseous exchange is definitely reduced this is correct and statement b the walls of alveoli are damaged due to smoking is also correct both the statements are correct depending upon the combination both statements are incorrect depending on the options given the correct answer would be option number 2 because none of the option states that both options are correct answer is 2 That's about it students we have come to the end of this session keep reading your ncrts and when you're reading your modules please read it from a reverse approach always think what questions can be framed from this concept and then go over the topics or the concept that would help you to read from an examiner's point of view thank you very much mm -hmm.